welcome to today's episode. Today we're doing part one of working on building our countertop, our countertop that's gonna go into the truck. We had some wood cut. I had it cut to size at Home Depot. It took them a few times to get it right. We've glued it, sanded it, and screwed it together. Now I have clamps on the edges. So I'm gonna show you how we did that. This is part one, and then we're gonna come back with a part two because we have laminate that we bought. We're gonna laminate the top and laminate the one uh, side edge of it. And then also we're going to be cutting out the area where the sink is going to go. So that's gonna be part two. So this is just gonna be a short video, part one, getting our countertop ready to go before we laminate. Okay, today as part of working on building our countertop, I have this little Bora, B-O-R-A, little stand thing that we're gonna to put together to use. It's pretty neat how this works. <clears throat> to create my own little work area, this just pulls out like that. And now I have a work area. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine little areas to, for flatness to put stuff on. For creating a work area, I just use some styrofoam. I can just set right on top of here and actually have some cut marks in here. This is great for cutting boards because you can cut and have your blade just go into the styrofoam. This doesn't cost much, you can replace them. I've got two pieces. This is, was a four by, eight, four by eight sheet I just cut in half. So I have both sides. And uh, this gives us a little bit of a sturdy work area for us to uh, work on our countertop. So now that I have this work surface, we're gonna bring over our wood. This is two pieces of wood. The, they're basically half inch pieces. I had this cut over at Home Depot where we bought it. So it's ready to go. And what we're going to do is we're gonna glue this together and also then screw it so it stays in place. And this is gonna be what's gonna be our countertop. And then we're gonna laminate the top of this. Uh, I'm not sure when, because the laminate glue says it has to be above like 65 degrees. And my only work area is right here outside. And we're not gonna have too many days where it's above 65 degrees for quite a while. Even here on the coast of Alabama. Uh, I've got a little rough cut here. I've got to sand some things down, but then we're gonna glue this together. And then this will be our countertop that will go in the truck. Before we get started with the gluing, I'm going to uh, use this little tool here because I'm gonna put in screws after I put the glue down and the glues have the little rim edge. This tool, I think it's called a chafing tool or something, I can't remember the exact pronouncement of it. This allows you to drill a little bitty hole that just gives you basically the same angle so you have a tip to cover the so this could inset the top of the, the screw can inset into the wood so it's nice and smooth otherwise if you don't use this you're, you're pushing it forcing it into the wood and it can crack and things like that so we're going to put this in this uh, tool right here I'm using these Makita tools I used to use a lot of Milwaukee's and I've switched to Makita uh, bought a kit uh, and then we're going to drill these little spots in there so these screws will fit in flush when we get to that point after we're gluing it, gluing it up. Okay, using this bit, I'm gonna make my little holes here. I'm just gonna show you one. And then when we put that screw in later, this will just go in here nice and flush down into that groove. I have 12 screws I'm gonna put in. 
So I'm going to make 12 of these little spots here. I'm also giving it a little bit of space away from the edge because I might, to get a straighter edge when we're completely done, I oversized this just a little bit. I can cut, you know, quarter of an inch off the edge if I need to make this straighter. So before we get gluing, I've been sanding down the edges a little bit where they cut the wood at Home Depot. It had rough edges sticking up. So I'm just getting rid of all that rough edge, extra little pieces of wood sticking up, wood slivers. I did this side already. And, uh, and I think we're going to be good here. Okay, I've separated the two pieces of wood. We're ready to go. This is going to be our bottom piece. That's why we have to screw pieces in there. And I'm going to put a bunch of glue on this. I'm using this uh, Gorilla wood glue. Oh, this doesn't come out too easy, does it? Wow. Okay, let's move this wood over. That's fitting in there pretty darn good. screws here. <laughs> See that gets that nice and flush. We just double check, make sure this isn't going through, which it's not perfect. Those don't screw in super well starting. Let me get a screwdriver to try to start them.
put a couple more screws in. I pretty much used that whole entire bottle of glue. I'm glad I got that uh, size. I almost bought a smaller one. I didn't think I'd use that much, but I did. Wanted to do a quick update on this. After we had it all finished, we noticed that in between my screw spots, the wood was having a gap. Apparently when I screwed in the screws and it went into the bottom piece, it was actually separating the wood. So I had to go back and tighten the screws down and hold it. And I added in more clamps because we were getting a gap in between things around all the areas. So hopefully we have that fixed now. I added quite a few more clamps. I didn't have enough clamps, so I'm using some, some tools here. Just wrapping it all up for the night. I showed how this expanded out, and this is how quick and easy this expands back in. Just like that, into this small little package. Or I could stand this up in the corner or whatever. It actually comes in a, in a case. We're getting really high ISO here because it's uh, nighttime. I don't have any lights out here. Okay, that's it for today's video. We've got the wood ready to go. We're waiting for it to dry. Might be a couple of days. Not sure when we're going to be able to get to it to put the laminate on. But that was a quick, short little video for today with what we're working on on the ambulance. And we have a lot more coming. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time.